Hi guys! Today I'm going to teach you how to be a social badass straight up. Now what I have to say in this video is not for the weak. It is for the socially anxious like me, people who can't communicate with other people, people who are terrified to even look at another person in the real world. I'm going to teach you how to communicate and be awesome. So I know a lot of people have a fear of other people. It's very common. I do. That's why I make YouTube videos. That and because I have no life. But <clears throat> first, I want to teach you the baby steps. Now, these baby steps are crucial in communicating with everybody. Once you are able to master these, you are able to do the challenges I'm going to give you. Which these challenges are going to make you sick to your stomach. They're going to make you have nightmares. It's, it's a worse dream worst nightmare for someone who is antisocial. But I've done these, I have friends who do these, they work. So I suggest before you even start doing the challenges that you do it with friends, let them record you because that would be amazing. And you'd be able to laugh at yourself at the end because who doesn't like to laugh at yourself? Other people do, why don't you? All right, so the three baby steps, get ready. All right, first one, make eye contact. When you start to initiate any kind of communication, you give eye contact to somebody. Contact. Eye contact, look at somebody's eyeballs straight into their eyes like you're flirting with them straight like that, okay? Okay, secondly, you want to give a smile and then you want to say hello it means wave look at them let them know you're talking to them don't just look at a tree and say hey you know don't do that mm -mm, no that's not communication that's being scared we don't want to be scared so <clears throat> eye contact step one baby step one baby step two say hi and smile work on the smile i know you don't want to smile i know you don't even want to look at other people but you're going to smile and you're going to look them in the eyes third you want to have a greeting i know talking to somebody oh god what are you going to do you know what i don't give a shit you're going to talk to somebody you're going to look at them eye contact and you're going to be like what's up or good morning or good evening or how you doing that's how you give communication work on those those are your baby steps basics of communication to other people it happens you'll be a pro anyway the challenge is once you get used to doing all of your baby steps practice 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 you can practice with friends I don't care practice with strangers your mirror. I practice in the mirror all the time. Catch my partner practicing in the mirror all the time. But what I want you to do for these challenges, you're going to have to push yourself. They're going to freak you out. They're going to take you outside of your boundaries. And that's what you're supposed to do. Only because this is the only way to get rid of a social anxiety. Okay, so let's take a big breath. Don't you feel better? Now, as I said, do these with friends. Record yourself doing these. Have friends record them. These are going to be really embarrassing. People are going to laugh at you. But it'll make you feel good once you know you've completed it. I know because I've done it. Alright. First one. We're going to start out with easy challenges and work our way up. Okay? First challenge. Go out in public wearing neon shorts. I don't care if you're a man or a woman or non-gender, I don't care. You will go out wearing neon shorts. Might be cold right now. You can do it in the mall. The mall's warm, a restaurant's warm, the bookstore is warm. If you don't have any neon color shorts, go to Goodwill. They got them for $2. Pick a color, bright ass green. Puke orange. Pick a color. 
and you are going to wear it in public all day. Yes, people are going to look at you. It's what you never wanted, but now you want it. You want the attention. So, complete it. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt your soul. It's going to kill your anxiety. But you know what? Do it. You should feel better once you realize you accomplished it. Good job. Now, if you can do this, challenge two. Do this a week later so you can, you know, recoup from the embarrassment. Challenge two. Do something crazy in public. For example, I want you to go out to the mall or downtown if it's warm enough. Lay down. Do circles. Or, I don't know. What else could you do? Scream like a crazy person. Once you do this for an hour. People are going to look at you like you're nuts. And that's what you want. This will help you boost your confidence to be social. I know, sounds counterproductive, but it works. And I promise, it works. Now, once you do this, we're going to get crazy. We're going to get crazy. Breathe. Relax. All right. Challenge three. All right. When you go up to pay at any register in public. Registers are in public, yes? Yes. Okay. Now that we have that established, I want you to create a persona for yourself when you have to communicate with the register person, cashier, whatever you want to call them. I want you to have either an accent, a, some kind of verbal difference. Pretend. It could be Irish. It could be Latino. It could be... Oh, shit. What else? Italian. It could be a Russian accent. I don't care. As long as you are betraying another accent. It's fun. And you'll realize a lot of people get really excited if you do it really well. <laughs> I do this all the time. And people just crack up. Well, my friends do, because they know what I'm doing. But anyway, if you succeed in that, feel good. Confidence is up, you know. I want you to ask a stranger for their phone number. This is part two of challenge number three. That's going to be freaky for you. Why? Because you are going to be scared of the rejection or the insult that could come next. Who cares? You're putting yourself out there. We want to become more social. Social experiments help us. All right. Number three, the third, third, the fourth one, fourth biggest challenge I want you to do. Do this for as many days as you can consecutively. I want you to think of somebody. They could be real or not real. It could be a TV show character. It doesn't matter. I want you to imitate this person as well as you can in public. No matter who you, you know, come in contact with, whether it's a waiter, a taxi driver, it doesn't matter. I want you to pretend to be somebody else. I know that sounds different, but it works, I promise. And remember, I want you to do this with your friends. It'll be easier if you do it with friends. It'll be a lot funner. Funner, is that even a word? Funner? Anyway, I want you to breathe really quick. Don't hyperventilate on me. Good. All right. Back to challenge four. Do it with friends. I want you to record yourself. Have them record you. So you can look back at all these challenges you completed and be like, yeah, I'm a social badass. I have no regrets. I have no anxiety because I did all of these things. It'll give you the confidence and you'll be able to realize I did it. So... That is your way to become a social badass. So I would like for you guys to go ahead and add me on Facebook, Ajlan Archangel. I would love to see these videos. These videos would be amazing to watch. Plus, I might even put some up on the YouTubes. Take some. Be like, that guy is a beast. Yeah, you want that. So like and subscribe this video for me, guys. Share if you know someone else who has social anxiety. And I will see you when I make my next video.